This short instructional video will show you how to upload your assignments to Turnitin. Turnitin is text matching software and so material submitted to it is compared against stored student papers, journals, periodicals and publications. This means that it detects copying of works so it can be identified whether this is in fact your work or not. To indicate how much of your submitted work matches what is already in an existing database, Turnitin produces a similarity index or percentage score, which appears on your screen in the Turnitin link. At La Trobe University, unless indicated otherwise, you will be expected to submit your assignments via Turnitin throughout your course. It is therefore important that you become familiar with the process of uploading your documents to Turnitin to avoid missing an assessment deadline. You will find your Turnitin link in your LMS subject page. I am going to use this subject LMS site as an example, which is my core first year announcement site. And you can see that in this LMS site, you can actually see the link and it has a very distinct icon like this. There's a, a swirly red arrow next to a page. The position of the Turnitin link can actually vary depending upon the subject that you're undertaking, so make sure you familiarise yourself with where the link is for each subject. You can select or click on the link to start the upload process. In this section, once you've gone through the Turnitin link, you can see the title of the assessment that you'll be submitting, when the link was opened, and when it will close, and the marks allocated for the piece. Sometimes also there will be instructions related to the piece itself. So in this case, it's telling you how much the assignment is actually worth and what penalties there are for a late submission in the absence of a special consideration approval. So what we want to do is we actually want to submit our paper. And we go here and we press Submit Paper and it'll take you to the next screen. And this is a file upload for us. And the submission title would probably be best to have as Article Critique, which is the name of your assessment. And you can drag and drop a file here, or you can click on it and choose the file. It's actually here, which is my mini essay. And then I'm going to just put my name in there as well, that's my first submission, and I'm going to upload the file. And then one of the things that you really must do when you're at this screen is to check the box here, which is actually saying that you confirm that the submission is your own work. And so you're declaring that you've paraphrased and you've referenced appropriately and that you haven't used someone else's work. So that's a declaration of your responsibility there. And then you add the submission and you can see that it actually goes through a process of uploading to turn it in. Now it's really important that you wait at this point to see that it has uploaded. Sometimes it can fail at um, different steps, but the good thing here is that we actually have a receipt that says that your file has been uploaded, which is great. And also too, you want to um, note that you'll also receive an email to the same effect as well to say that you've uploaded to turn it in. So let's go back to the Turnitin screen and we'll just do a quick refresh. Ah, there it is. Okay, so one of the things about the similarity scores is that with the first submission, it generally takes less than 10 minutes to get a similarity index. Subsequent submissions can take up to 24, 48 hours. So you want to make sure that if you're going to resubmit to Turnitin, which you can, that you allow yourself enough time to do that. The other thing I wanted to just point out before we moved on is that the Turnitin links are generally open well in advance of the due date and this can vary depending upon the course that you're in. One of the benefits of that is that you can resubmit your work to try to improve your writing expression and reduce the similarity index before your final submission is due. While we're here, let's just click on the piece to see uh, what we're looking at. So this is my assignment that I've submitted and you can see here that we actually have quite significant matches to sources. Uh, one of the things that Turnitin does is it actually highlights, it's in text here, and the colour is actually quite significant. So red 
usually is the one that comes up as the most frequently accessed resource. And so when we have a look at this, if I was to mark this, I'd be fairly concerned that the student actually hasn't put this in their own words. And what they've done is, in fact, they've taken it from various sources. And it seems to be matching to this source in particular and a few other sources because they've all actually cut and pasted the same information by the looks of it. One of the other things that uh, we also look at when we examine pieces is the fact that it may not have um, had the right reference associated with it because it seems to be matching to this internet source as opposed to the one the student has referenced here, which is the NEI or National Eye Institute. So that's problematic as well. So not only have they taken large sections without putting them in their own words, they've also incorrectly cited the reference. Um, similarly, it's happened here for item two, if we click on that, um, we can actually see that in fact, if we go out to that website, it's matching to this. And I don't think that's been cited properly. So one of the other things that we also look at, is we can go back to the full match breakdown. So we look at the colors before we mark it. And we also look to make sure that the references cited are correct and are in correct referencing style for what you need to do for your area of discipline. In health, it's APA 6th. And this is um, not correct for APA 6th. So there'll be things that'll be covered during your course. But the purpose of Turnitin is to show you what perhaps you need to go back and revise and rewrite and then resubmit in order to get a work that's actually in your own words that can be submitted for assessment. The other thing I just wanted you to uh, be aware of was that you can submit to turn it in as many times as you like up until the due date. And at that point, whatever is in turn it in is what we regard as what you have submitted for your assessment. So please make sure you leave yourself enough time to do that. And more information about turn it in can be found on the Latrobe website by typing in Turnitin into the search function and having a read through the information there. Good luck with using Turnitin and please ask your teaching staff for assistance at any stage should you be experiencing any difficulty.